Hello everyone! Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Tony Hunt and I like crystals and art. So if you like either or both of those, you might consider subscribing. I would love to have you here. Today we are going to unbox my new Terry Ludwig pastels. Um, I finally broke down and bought a few open stock. These are very expensive pastels and I treated myself to a couple over Christmas. So if you're interested in that, keep on watching. Okay, as I said, these are pretty expensive pastels, at least to me. I think a set of 14 is like $77 and 30 is 100 40 50 I don't know something like that so I already have a lot of pastels I just wanted to try these out so I bought a few now if I had loads of money I would have bought the ultraviolet set and I'll put a little picture up here but I don't quite need that many pastels so I decided to pick out a few colors that I thought would fill holes in my collection and look at these beauties look at them Ah, oh, they're so beautiful. I've been waiting so long to try these. I see a lot of people using them, and a lot of artists swear by them. So we're going to see what that fuss is all about today. Okay, so I went ahead and made my little color chart that they sent. They sent this along, which I thought was nice, um, and wrote down the numbers over here for us, and I went ahead and made a little swatches. I'm going to go ahead and spray this with some um, fixative. So it'll keep in case I run out of these colors and I'll know what to buy. But I'm not going to put these in my big collection. I'm going to keep these in this little box off to the side so they will be special to me. So this is what I'm going to be up to today. I'm going to swatch out my new Terry Lugwigs down the side here. And I'm also going to compare them to some of the pastels I already own. Um, what we have is Mangayo. We have some Unisons. I think these are new pastels. We have some Smicka, Rembrandts, and my Snelliers. And these are the ones I have the most of, and I really do like these. But um, I seem to really like the Unison ones. It's just the texture of these I prefer, but now I only have a few because I thought those were pretty expensive too. So um, I got the Schmincke, Schmincke in a probably palatable packs or something like that. These are super soft. They're really good for your last step making highlights and stuff. Um, these are pretty light colors and light colors tend to be a little more softer. So I wouldn't mind getting a couple more of these to compare and maybe I'll do that in the future for you. But anyway, let's get into this. Now, I don't have, obviously, I don't have the same exact colors, or I wouldn't have bought these. So we're going to come close. I've picked out what looks like these, so we can get some kind of idea of how these compare to my new ones. Now, of course, the Schmincke, Schmincke, however you pronounce it, I don't have, these are my only two colors. So I'm going to swatch these off to the side after my first one and just get kind of a feeling for the softness of them. But as for colors and being able to really compare, I don't have anything close, but there's that. So let's start with the Violet 490. Okay, this is the closest unison I have to it. Hmm. That uh, feels softer than the Terry Lugwood, which actually surprised me. Okay. And this is the Snellier that comes the closest. Actually, that's a closer to that color, isn't it? All right, this is a little stiffer. And I'm going to be using these colors a couple times. Because um, I just don't have as many. But we'll come close. Um, that's actually pretty soft. Uh... It's just a light color. It's buttery. How do I explain this? It feels very buttery going on the paper, but it is a little harder, but a very smooth texture. Okay, here's my Rembrandt. 
uh, I'm going to use the side that I've already kind of have chipped away because I technic I really like to kind of rub off that smooth outside before I use these. Yeah, much more stiffer. And I like to use Rembrandt's for my um, first layer. We'll just use this. And very hard. New pastels are good for making little lines, little detailed work, because these are very hard compared to the other ones. All right, so let's just compare the Schmincke. Ooh, very soft. Here's that unison. Interesting. So on just this first little test, I thought the Terry Legwigs were going to be very soft. I mean, they are soft, but the Schmincke are the softest. Then I'm going to say unison, then Terry Ludwig. So depending on what you want. Now, I believe you should have a few different textures of pastels to get different things done. So I wouldn't just stick to one kind. Um, but yeah, I, I was a little surprised by that. I thought the Terry Ludwig was going to be up there. Um, but no, it's actually third and softest compared to the ones I have here. All right, let's keep on going and see if we find anything different between some colors. All right, this was the V343, and I didn't pick out anything to really compare it to. And on this light paper, you can barely tell it. But I'm going to go out here, make a little test, and then use this schminky. It is darker. But yeah, this, this um, is so much softer than that Terry Ludwig. This is the V380. And I like to use purples a lot um, for shadows, depth, things like that. And I did, I had a, quite a few holes of purple. Now that one seemed to be a lot softer than that darker purple. I need to break these in half. This is very buttery. I forgot how smooth textured these were. Hmm. All right, this brighter purple here is the V345. And that's actually a lot harder than I would expect. V360. The V330. I was most excited for this one. This is a very nice dark eggplant color. Mm, nice. Nice for underpaintings. That first dark moody layer. Beautiful. Now I do have some colors that come close to this. All right, this is a unison. Here's another Snellier. I had nothing close to that purple, hence why I bought it. Here's the Mangayo. This is a brownie purple. But I thought it'd be nice to compare texture. Here's the only thing close I had in Rembrandt, and I've already used it up there, but... Um, I was really lacking in purples. And here's a new pastel. I don't know if you can hear the difference when I'm going, why I'm swatching these, but I can in real life. 
the V060. Ooh, this one's softer. That one's a lot softer. Okay, what do I have to compare this one with? Sennelier. Now, the texture in these two shades were a lot alike. If you didn't tell me which one was which, I wouldn't have known. Now, this is an N085. And this is B640. I didn't uh, bring out anything to compare this one to. This is kind of like a periwinkle blue. Just a little deeper than that periwinkle color, I'd say. And this is G380. I'm not sure why I threw in this random green, but I did. I like greens. Ooh, that's a little softer. That's a very nice green. Like a mossy, earthy, baby puke green. Okay, I do have a couple of greens. Um, here's a unison, which I figured might be pretty close, and they are. This one's got more yellow in it. But yeah, I'm just so surprised how much softer these are. Hmm. Here's the closest Sennelier I have. Even that, much softer. Um, here's a Rembrandt. And if you've tried Rembrandts and you're like, oh, I just don't like them, seriously, take some um, of the sanded paper and rub off the outside smooth, smooth part and you might like it a lot better. I do. And I might be crazy. Who knows? All right, and here's just a new pastel that was green. I thought I'd compare. Much harder, but an important tool in pastels. Okay, here's my little comparison sheet. I didn't do any, you know, uh, blending or anything. I just kind of wanted to test out the pastels, see what I thought. Like I said, I'm very surprised that they're a little more stiffer than what I expected, but that's good. Um, so I can start maybe some of my base layers with these because they're right in between. They're not really hard like the Rembrandts and they're not quite as soft as the Unison or Snellier. So these are a nice medium hardness to me. I think I'm going to get a lot of use out of them. I actually hope I don't fall in love because then I'm going to be screwed. But anyway, let's do a little, I'm going to do a little sample now. Um, something real quick just so I can test these out and maybe talk more about them. I'm sorry, it's very hard for me to video and do pastels at the same time. So I just did some pictures of my process. This is not a real mat. I just put it on my finished work to kind of get a visual of what it would look like finished and matted. So I used every new Terry Ludwig I had to create this painting. And by the way, I follow uh, Karen Muglis on Patreon and I will have, if I can link that down below, I will, and I will link her Facebook channel. This month she was talking about values and did a lavender field. So I thought, oh, how perfect for me to follow along with that to test out all these new violet colors. I thought it was perfect for what I was doing this month myself. But anyway, I also tested out some of the other brands in this so I could get a feel for what how different they were 
compared and working with them. So here are my final thoughts. I really did enjoy the Terry Lugwigs. I think they completely fill a hole in my collection, especially with some of the colors. But the texture was really nice. I got some nice um, details, but they weren't too hard. You could do nice um, areas of color, but they were also, when you turn them on their side, they were still stiff enough to get some of these uh, little details down in here. I did this all with my new Terry Lugwigs, just kind of testing it out. So I think they're going to be interesting. Like I said, they're expensive. Do you need these? No. There's many other things out there that you can buy first to uh, learn how to do pastels. When you get experience, then maybe invest in these Terry Lugwigs to give yourself a present. But yeah, I enjoyed them. I'm sure I'm going to get more in the future here and there, but I don't know if I'm ever just going to buy a set. Um, I don't think I need that because the ones I reach for every day are still my Snellies and my Unisons. So these are just little treats here and there. So if you guys have Terry Lugwig, let me down, but down below if they're your favorite or what is your favorite soft pastel. If I don't have it, I might give it a try and do a little video on it. I'm always looking to get more pastels with different textures. Thank you for joining me today. Let me know down below if you do have any recommendations and I'll see you in my next video, guys. Bye.